And here you can see the motion of the pipe from expansion and contraction as the sun hits it and warms it up through the day. So I guess it's more obvious on this side. You can just see the little wear pattern in the dirt. Oh, and you can tell the story of your welds here. Okay, this is uh, high density polyethylene, and that is a butt fusion weld, and it's as strong as the parent material of the pipe. That means it's as strong as the pipe. Absolutely. <laughs> and if you listen, you can hear the water in it. And there is the pipeline. Could be about an inch higher. And there is the source of Dave's water. Well, kind of. Yeah, this is the irrigation ditch coming off of my neighbor's property. And it's filling that pipe. And also, a lot of it is going through the dam here and just into the old ditch. Flood irrigation systems take a lot of maintenance. Yeah. And maintenance that I haven't gotten to. Uh, <clears throat> just getting water... This water, this water wasn't even coming on the property when I first got it. Mm -hmm. Here's a pipeline view. Step over there, you can get a pipeline view from the top. Oh, well, I can probably just get it right here. Yeah. And there it is. All the way down the field and across. And over there, that uh, line of green is the ditch that it's filling. Down there is the rest of the ranch. Yeah. The tin barn, the wood barn, and the house. <clears throat> okay. And so that concludes our visit to the ranch of Rube Goldman. And that concludes our visit to the ranch of Rube Goldberg. <laughs> A ranch like no one has ever seen before. It's actually very well maintained. He's brought it back to life. After about 25 minutes. Yeah. Okay, we are back at... The ditch, 25 minutes later, you can see that uh, it has gone down considerably. Here is the hole there, and uh, Dave quickly will tell you about his bucket system. This one here has a 3-inch hole on the back of it, and that <clears throat> plugs up the ditch, but allows a volume of water through that 3-inch hole to keep continuously going into the lower system <clears throat> and as you can see that lower ditch has had a dramatic f effect on how green the next field over is <clears throat> this field here has not been as aggressively worked as the one below but it will be and uh, then Dave also has these other two buckets to uh, that one there is a solid back, and that is a full stop. And this one here has the two-inch hole to... Uh, During times of low flow. Low flow times. Like if there's uh, not much uh, snow coming down the mountain into the rivers. Or the water is yeah. just not getting here. Yeah. And this will take, how long you say to recover? That'll recover in about uh, 45 minutes. Well, actually, you've got that one running there. Oh, no, this one, it'll recover in about five hours with that other one running. Yeah, okay, so we have uh, that other pipe feeding the lower field.
but you'll notice by keeping this ditch full, the weeds don't grow yeah. when the water covers it. Yeah. They can't grow underwater. Okay. So here you see the uh, water is filling the next, what would you call this? Uh, this is a distribution area. Distribution area. And within a couple of minutes, it will fill up above the level of the pipes. And you can already see that it has uh, gone into the ditch here. And you can see the wet line above there. And that's how high it was, what, yesterday? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So That's just the saturation point. Yeah, that's the saturation point. And a few minutes ago, this ditch was down quite a bit. And that's uh, Dave's special fertilizer that he uses for... <laughs> yeah, we're going to walk around. Okay. Okay, so anyway, there you see the... Uh... Here's the rapids. <clears throat> yes, the rapids. These will slowly, like, erode, won't they? What's that, the ditch? The rapids. Oh, yeah, they probably will. Yeah. But this is the oldest form of irrigation. This was the irrigation they used in uh, the pharaohs. ancient e Egyptian times. Yes. Flood irrigation. And now uh, this one here, you call this rapid the boulder drop, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> But this ditch is freshly dug out to make this water flow the way it does. Yes, this is what Dave dug the ditch with. See, now the ditch is starting to get really full now. Right? Oh, yeah. And each one of these fence posts is a channel that sends water down to all these trees. And you can see the trees in the field there. I'm zooming a little bit. And it's actually, it's, it's flooding over down there right now. Yeah, it's starting to flood here. Yeah, no, you've done pretty darn good. I mean, this is... I have never been able to get that, that much water. I've had it flood. Yeah, well, before. it's 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 going over the bank here right now. Yeah, it's because it's damming up down there. Mm -hmm. It can't get through the channels fast enough. Yeah, so that's that's good. You got a lot of flow, a lot of water. I mean, look how it's very cool. Well, considering when I first got this place. There was not a drop of water flowing on it and from the, the irrigation room. canals. No. Very cool. And still filling. Yeah, it's actually, it's going to... It's running. The over pipe now is starting to cause it to back up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but you were here last week. Yeah. And it was nowhere near like this. No, well, you just dug this out in the you week the that we channel, were the gone. And the thing is, it's still bottlenecked to the, right there. I think I'll mm -hmm. probably be digging it some more of it. Yeah, it's just right there in line with the large post. Well, I wouldn't want to be floating this with... Uh, all these hydraulics going on in here. <laughs> but yeah, this will go on for about half an hour. Sweet. Good. Yeah. So we closed the upper drain with the bucket that has a three inch hole and you can see how quickly this drain lowers down. Um, remember it was overflowing in the field, into the field down here a little ways and the water is now 
well below the top of the ditch height. And those seven little canals still feed. They don't feed far enough down. That's why you need the rush. Mm -hmm. Saturate the ground. Yeah. And then you keep it uh, topped off. Okay, so now we're going to walk down and take a look at where this uh, eight, inch. eight inch pipe feeds. Okay. Okay, so a four I inch. A, a leak. I drilled a hole there to see if I could get some. Right. And it does work. But yeah, that's a four inch pipe. Goes over to that hill. That one goes all the way down past that little barn. And there's enough pressure to shoot water out. Pretty cool. And there's a pretty nice bosk uh, pear tree right there. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. See the pears on it? Oh, that one. Yeah, oh, that's a big one, ain't it? They're pretty ripe, too. Yeah, some of them look pretty ripe. Yeah. So this pipe, does it end over there where the water is? It does. Yeah. yeah it and that is. was your tester. And then there's another one here. I bored a, a two-inch hole in the pipe right here to see if I could get <laughs> some water down to these lower trees, and it has worked. We got a, okay. Looks like it's leaking a bit. But as you can see, the grass is mostly green in there. Yeah. I think there's about two trees that don't get any water from it. <laughs> this uh, ditch here, this is an old dead ditch. Yeah, this is an old dead ditch. It's got a, a, a wooden culvert in it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Seattle's sewer system was made out of these yeah. well. way back when. Got any idea how old this one is? Uh, it's probably from the 1920s, maybe. <laughs> An original ditch. Yeah. You see that water runs down. It seems to be getting all these trees right here. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of goes diagonally across, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. These two trees up here on the hill seem to be doing okay. They. Have been they've been sprinkled a couple of times this year, but I haven't lost any more. I lost a bunch of these the first year. But. Yeah, I can see a twig right there, and another one right there. But now you've got uh, irrigation established. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, here's all the horses are over there. I'll show you where the end of that four inch pipe is. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about this 8 inch? Does it just end right there? 8 inch pipe is capped off right oh. there. Oh, okay, capped off so it's not going to do anything. Yeah. Then, uh, but the 4 inch pipe will irrigate all these trees. So you got trees planted in here too. Yeah. There's probably about... Oh, okay, around the edge. Yeah, there's probably 200 trees planted right in here. Doesn't look like it, but there mm. is. bunch of arborvita from Walmart for five bucks a head. Yeah. Oh. The water's here yet. Was this just put in and whose hair is that? That's a that's a dirt that's a a a, a, a lamb. Oh. A tree eating lamb. Huh. A ram actually. Ram. Oh the yeah those are the these aren't these are just uh arborvita. Yeah. yeah. These are um 
they're going to be my decorational ornamental trees. They're going to be my noise block. Yeah. They, it looks like they're getting a little brown, so I'll leave, I'm going to leave that water on overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is the tour of. Quite. Oh, there's more. Yeah, there's just one. We're going to go up and see where that uh, four-inch pipe comes out. Oh, where's that? Right, right up by that. Oh. I want to see. That one's been plagued by gopher holes. Mm-hmm. How far up's that? Oh, 100 feet maybe. Oh. But pretty soon this will be flooded because there's a gopher hole. Oh. <clears throat> There's a ditch running through here. Right. And there ain't no water in it yet. There, see, it's the water just starting to come in. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And where's the pipe abs? Trees planted all along this fence for my noise breaker. Volunteer. Yeah. There it is. You can hear it. Yeah. Water splits right up there. Half of it goes north and half of it goes south. And there's the pipe and it hits a rock. Yeah, it's just dammed up to mm. help divide the water. I don't know if you can see it in here. Oh, I hear it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. See, it's already pooling down there. And that's why the pear tree does so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you do have a little pool there. It's a pretty good sized pool. Don't like the west? The pears, they like, no, they're, they can't see, you can hardly see any of them. Yeah. Well, I, you saw them from the other side. Yeah, and they're, the ones on that side of the tree are pretty ripe. Yeah. But yeah, you can't see much. Okay, so that is now concluded. There's one. <laughs> Okay, and that is it. Looks like people have been good. I don't see any trash dumped here. Yeah. No highway litter. Just your uh, backhoe tracks. Uh, that's Nina's trap. Oh? Oh, the... I came up here and pulled some rocks out. Okay, occasionally I run the lawnmower up here. Right. Okay, all right. That's it. This disc 